Lester Del Rey June 2, 1915 to May 10, 1993, was an American science fiction author and editor. He was the author of many books in the juvenile Winston science fiction series, and the editor at Del Rey Books, the fantasy and science fiction imprint of Ballantine Books, along with his fourth wife Judy Lynn Del Rey. Topic. Birth name Del Rey often told people his real name was Ramon Felipe Alvarez Del Rey and sometimes even Ramon Felipe San Juan Mario Silvio Enrico Smith Hartcourt Brace Sierra y Alvarez Del Rey y de los Uerds. He also claimed that his family was killed in a car accident in 1935. However, his sister has confirmed that his name was in fact Leonard Knapp, and the accident in 1935 killed his first wife but not his parents, brother, or sister. Topic. Career Del Rey first started publishing stories in pulp magazines in the late 1930s, at the dawn of the so-called Golden Age of Science Fiction. He was associated with the most prestigious science fiction magazine of the era, Astounding Science Fiction, from the time its editor John W. Campbell published his first short story in the April 1938 issue, The Faithful, already under the name Lester Del Rey. The December 1938 issue featured his story, Helen Oloy, which was selected for the prestigious anthology The Science Fiction Hall of Fame. By the end of 1939 he had also placed stories in Weird Tales edited by Farnsworth Wright and Unknown Campbell, which featured more horror and more fantasy respectively. In the 1950s, Del Rey was one of the main authors writing science fiction for adolescents along with Robert A. Heinlein and Andre Norton. During this time some of his fiction was published under the name Eric Van Lhin. During a period when Del Rey's work was not selling well, he worked as a short-order cook at the White Tower restaurant in New York. After he married his second wife, Helen Schlaz, in 1945, he quit that job to write full-time. After meeting Scott Meredith at the 1947 World Science Fiction Convention, he began working as a first reader for the new Scott Meredith Literary Agency, where he also served as office manager. He later became an editor for several pulp magazines and then for book publishers. During 1952 and 1953, Del Rey edited several magazines, Space SF, Fantasy Fiction, Science Fiction Adventures as Philip St. John, Rocket Stories as Wade Camefort, and Fantasy Fiction as Cameron Hall. Also during 1952, his first two novels were published in the Winston Juvenile series, one with an Italian language edition in the same year. In 1957, Del Rey and Damon Knight co edited a small amateur magazine named Science Fiction Forum. During a debate about symbolism within the magazine, Del Rey accepted Knight's challenge to write an analysis of the James Blish story, Common Time that showed the story was about a man eating a ham sandwich. Del Rey was most successful editing with his fourth wife, Judy Lynn Del Rey, at Ballantine Books as a random house property, post Ballantine, where they established the fantasy and science fiction imprint Del Rey Books in 1977. After science fiction gained respectability and began to be taught in classrooms, Del Rey stated that academics interested in the genre should get out of my ghetto. Del Rey stated that, to develop science fiction had to remove itself from the usual critics who viewed it from the perspective of the mainstream, and who judged its worth largely on its mainstream values. As part of that mainstream, it would never have had the freedom to make the choices it did, many of them quite possibly wrong, but necessary for its development. For a number of years in the 1970s, Del Rey, himself, helmed the review column for analog science fiction and fact entitled The Reference Library. 
Del Rey was a member of an all-male literary banqueting club, the Trap Door Spiders, which served as the basis of Isaac Asimov's fictional group of mystery solvers, the Black Widowers. Del Rey was the model for Emmanuel Rubin. Topic. Style There is no writer in this field who is more steadfast in practicing the rule that fiction is first of all entertainment," Algus Budrys said in 1965. Reporting that the stories in a collection of Del Rey's fiction could not be dated by reading them, Budrys stated that he had remained a successful writer because Del Rey has remained his own individual. He writes for himself, and his readers. Budrys said that The typical Del Rey character is an individual who is trying to do the decent thing to the best of his ability. The typical Del Rey story problem is that of a good and faithful being trying to understand a complex situation which prevents his immediately knowing the decent thing to do. When he writes a story whose problem becomes apparent only in the last paragraphs, this is frequently the nature of his trick. Ending. The mood is not shock but sorrow, the payoff is not in some irrevocable destruction of this personality but in the reader's realization that even a decent individual must pay the price of ignorance. Normally, Del Rey even then leaves an opening for the protagonist to grow and go on in, and even his worst losers retrieve something. Call it dignity. Topic. Awards. Del Rey was awarded the 1972 E. E. Smith Memorial Award for Imaginative Fiction the Skylark by the New England Science Fiction Association for contributing significantly to science fiction, both through work in the field and by exemplifying the personal qualities that made the late Doc Smith well loved by those who knew him. He also won a special 1985 Balrog Award for his contributions to fantasy, voted by fans and organized by Locus Magazine. The Science Fiction Writers of America named him its 11th SFWA Grand Master in 1990, presented 1991. Topic. Selected works Topic. Novels Marooned on Mars 1952. Rocket Jockey as Philip St. John 1952. Attack from Atlantis 1953. Battle on Mercury as Eric Van Lhin 1953. The Mysterious Planet as Kenneth Wright 1953. Rockets to Nowhere as Philip St. John, 1954. Step to the Stars, 1954. For I Am a Jealous People, 1954. Preferred Risk, 1955, with Frederick Pohl, as by Edson McCann. Mission to the Moon, 1956. Nerves, 1956. Police Your Planet as Eric Van Lhin, 1956. Day of the Giants, 1959. Moon of Mutiny, 1961. The Eleventh Commandment, 1962. Outpost of Jupiter, 1963. The Sky is Falling, 1963. Badge of Infamy, 1963. The Runaway Robot, 1965. The Infinite Worlds of Maybe, 1966. Rocket from Infinity, 1966. The Scheme of Things, 1966. Siege Perilous, 1966. Tunnel Through Time, 1966. Prisoners of Space, 1968. Peace Stalemate, 1971. Weeping May Tari, 1978, with Raymond F. Jones. 
Topic: Short fiction collections. And some were human, 1948. Robots and changelings, 1957. The sky is falling and badge of infamy, 1966. Mortals and Monsters, 1965. Gods and Golems, 1973. The Early Del Rey, 1975. The Early Del Rey, Volume 1, 1976. The Early Del Rey, Volume 2, 1976. The Best of Lester Del Rey, 1978. War and Space, 2009. Robots and Magic 2010 Topic Nonfiction Rockets Through Space 1957 Space Flight General Mills Inc 1958 1957 Golden Press 1959 The Mysterious Earth 1960 the Mysterious Sea, 1961. The Mysterious Sky, 1964. The World of Science Fiction, 1926 to 1976. The History of a Subculture, 1980. Topic as editor: The Year After Tomorrow with Carl Carmer and Cecile Machat, 1954. Best Science Fiction of the Year, number one, number five, 1972 to 1976.